Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another player review. So today we will be reviewing 89 rated the German left back himself, Tim Liebold. Now, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I have butchered that. So I'm going to have a look after this game. I'm going to go on a German translator, put his name in and see what comes back. Um, So you will see in the next cut, I should be pronouncing his name correctly. If not, let me know down below. Um, But this card, it looks incredible and usually I would not review lower rated cards compared to all of the other cards that are out. Now, the reason I am reviewing this card is because if you have a look, go to German, Germany and left back concept players, literally he's the only one that is usable at the stage of a FIFA, at the stage of FIFA. You do not want to be using Max with 74 defending. So, I mean, Liebold is literally one of the only options and he does look incredible if you do look at his, his, at his stats. So, we are playing him in this formation, of course, just to get Kim in game. We will be playing him in a 4 triple 2 um, He will be left back, of course, right back, being Kyle Walker. Um, my team's literally broke at the moment because I am saving all my coins. I'm at 150k, not heaps. Probably going to try to get 500 to a million coins uh, within the next month or couple weeks or so. Uh, so I can upgrade my team, have a final team, and then just start saving for the future promos that come out so I can bang a lot of content out for you guys. Uh, but anyways... We are going to review this card, we're going to go over his stats, we're going to go over his player bio, we're then going to hop into a game or two depending on how much content we get with him, then after that I'll give him an overall rating out of 10, his pros and cons and whether or not I think he's worth it. So before we get into this video, I just want to ask if you guys are new and you do want to help support the channel, you can do so by simply dropping a like and subscribing, completely free and it helps me out a shit ton. I'd also like to say thank you guys so much for 2.5k, you guys are actually incredible like I mean almost 300 new subs this month unreal so thank you guys so much but anyways let's get in it to the review starting off he is 5 foot 9 so he is a shorter player but for a fullback that is common high medium work rates preferred foot is left Free star skill moves, which is good. I would say that's a must-have for a left back. I just like when I play it down the wing or a right back slash left back, building play up to the wing and giving it forward to my right and left cam. I do like throwing in a, maybe a roulette or when you hold down both triggers and do a fake shot. I a heel to heel even. Just some simple skill moves I do like to throw in now and again. This dude, I can do that with three star skill moves. Weak foot slacking, but that's not an issue at all. See, Kyle Walker is two star, two star. And, I mean, it's not a massive issue for me. I, I don't... It's an issue. That's where I want the three star skill moves, like I said. But it's not, it doesn't decide the whole card. Of course, we're just using Walker, like I said, until we can afford. Um, I might go to Headliner Walker or something along those lines. But anyways, I'm getting distracted. Uh, just from his player bio, he looks decent. Weak foot, like I said, lacking, but not important whatsoever. As for attribute details, 95 pace, he is literally rapid. 93 sprint speed alongside 96 acceleration. His shooting, of course, does not matter. And his passing, some nice passing. He's got 79 along passing, which isn't insane but it's not bad, and 91 short passing, 91 curve. So if the long passing was up a little bit, that'd be awesome, but it's not a massive issue, and it's not an issue with our chem style, which we'll fix. You can see what chem style's on him. Um, but I have narrowed it down to two chem styles, which we will get into in a second. So his passing overall is good. He's got some insane crossing, decent vision, good short passing, and good curve. Long passing's not great, but it's still acceptable. Now, as for dribbling, 99 agility, 99 balance. Literally, that's for meta. If you're talking about meta, this card's a meta. Composure's not horrible either. Um, so just looking at him, he looks insane. It looks like once he is a smaller person, or uh, I shouldn't say that, but... That, okay, I've butchered that. Once he is shorter, he's going to be agile. He's going to be balanced. He's going to feel insane on the ball, man. Um, his composure, like I said, isn't great, but dribbling, ball control's decent, reactions is decent, and 99.99 is phenomenal. As for defending, he's got some nice defensive stats and some nice physical stats. Strength of 80 isn't insane. And as a fullback, you need stamina. Well, this dude has got it, 96 stamina. So now, going to traits, he's got a finesse shot, which is pointless for a left back, um, especially once he has 69 finishing. Like, I don't understand what the point is in that but if you do want to use this card as a left mid you honestly could if you chuck say a dead eye on him he would work i wouldn't recommend it but he would work as a left mid or a left cam with a dead eye still like i said would not recommend it now going to chem soul so i actually brought this card and it already had an anchor on him um and i was literally thinking in my head 
do I use an anchor or do I use an, a sentinel? So a sentinel will not give him a pace boost and just a defensive and physical boost. But with an anchor he will get a defensive physical boost. Not only that he will also get a pace boost. But you may be thinking 95 pace is already rapid. Uh, yes that's correct. But at the same time you're kind of wasting um you're kind of wasting a sentinel so i'm going on i'm on footbin on my phone right now and if i go over to uh the dude lee bold have him on full chem and say i'm going to try find a sentinel chem style there we go so with a sentinel chem style on full chem he goes to 96 defending 94 physical and his pace stays the same now if you go to an anchor so an anchor so remember that 96 defending and 94 physical now going to an anchor he's 95 defending and 91 physical and 98 pace so it's a very very minor decrease um compared from an anchor to a sentinel when it comes to the defensive and physical boost so it's literally only a plus three plus two in that and it's not a massive issue what chem style but with an anchor i mean he goes up to 99 and 98 so he's just literally rapid and not only that 98 stand tackle 98 slide tackle like this card took so many boxes and it really it's just up to opinion you can use a sentinel you can use an anchor whatever you want either one would work perfect on this card anyways without further ado guys let's hop in to the review is he worth it Right, we have found a match, so I am uh, selecting the kits here, and the team we will be facing, it's currently 1 in the morning in New Zealand, um, later than I expected actually, and the team is a bloody insane team, he's got Mertens, team of the year De Bruyne, uh, he's got team of the season Sala, team of the season Ramos, flashback Militao, this is an insane team, am I shitting myself right now? Yes I am, this will be a very tight game, um, I'm going to chuck a pause after the game's kicked off to sub on uh, Dharma Traore for my Perlo who's in there for chem reasons um, but it's a good team we are at home no this will be a close one let's get into it yeah, Lee Bold right here we're gonna do a nice freestyle skill moves Jeez, nah his agility and balance you guys will be very impressed when it comes to his dribbling and how he turns and just feels on the ball lovely stuff from him man was it that I believe that was Lee Bold. Lovely stuff. And the interception off the bat. And what a save, man. Alright, so my opponent just quit. No reason why, but he quit. Um, maybe he DC'd? I never know. But Lee Bold with an interception in the first match. Of course, whopping into another. Again, we're playing this back to Lee Bold straight away. Good stuff. Lovely pass. His pass actually held up lovely. Of course, 91... Uh, 91 short passing, I believe. So very good stuff here. Lee Bold here, he could be tested. We're ringing him out, he doesn't have to be tested. But from that little time I had him, his pace was rapid. Like, literally, when I'm marking my opponent... Alright, was well, sweet. That was Lee Bold with an actual uh, deflect, which got us the ball in the end. We're going to play this down to Lee Bold as well. Good pass. Risky pass. Paid off, though. Got Lee Bold here, we're bringing him out. Oh, puts pressure on, makes my opponent pass it. I was debating on whether or not to go on the tackle. I didn't end up doing that. I, I mean, I really missed opportunity. I easily could have gone in for that tackle. Uh, but sadly, I just don't. And that's a good save from Yashin. Um, but brilliant pressure put on by him. And just running around with him whilst you're just marking your opponent. He really feels insane. Just really small, which is good. Um, and just very agile, turns easily. And it just makes it easy. It feels easy to just get the tackle through. As you can see, a split second is pace fair. He's you, like 98 pace, basically max pace. Oh, what are you expecting? He's rapid, man. He's rapid. The bold. Get to it, lad. Oh, he's gotten to it. Lovely stuff. Boom. Not the best of timing, but we win a throw from it, so not bad. Now, LeBold with a throw. Of course, throwing isn't an actual stat, which I reckon it should be, um, but a good stat there. I mean, a good throw there, sorry. We're bringing LeBold out. This could be risky with an interception. There we go. There we go, lad. Boom. My opponent stuffed up. We took advantage of that. We took advantage of that one. Going back down to defensive there. Bringing LeBold out of position. This is risky. I know it is. We're just putting a man on the line. Oh my god. It's paid off. It's paid off. You're joking. LeBold, re LeBold literally saved us twice. Like literally it was... I made two horrible mistakes. 
Two horrible mistakes. Lebold covered my ass both times. First with an interception, second with like kind of a tackle. It was strange with the second one. But either way, he's saved us, man. Boom. There we go. There we go. And that is a rage quit we've wanted as well. There we go. Lebold has saved us a lot this game. We've got so much content of him with this game. Um, but we are going to play another game. We are definitely going to play another game. But absolutely phenomenal from Lebold. A 7.7 .7 as a left back in a, in a defensive position. That is very, very good. Now, if we have a look at passes, 12 out of 13 completed. 10 out of 10 dribbles completed. Like I said, his dribbling is insane. So Okay, so that did not count as a tackle. But if he was an interception stat, I believe he'd be on 2 or 3. Um, of course, this card here is incredible so far. And we beat someone who made their account in 2010, if you take anything from that. A good game on my half. Um, Kamada, of course, very, very w good on his side as well. Um, but let's hop into the second match. We've got so much content with Lebold that sometimes I'll just end it now. It's 1 in the morning, 1.30 now. But hey, we're going to play another one. Let's do it. We have to play this back to Lebold here. Good pass, back to Lebold. Building up play, lovely stuff. Bad pass on Campbell's part. Boom, good goal, good goal, 1-1, one, one. we're staying attacking, I'm literally, I feel like I'm better than this dude, um, I mean no disrespect to this guy, he's actually good, but I am dominating when it comes to attacking, back to Lebold, good pass, boom, here we go, just before half time, 2-1, now we're going defensive, Oh my god. What's happened? I've turned in, literally, I've turned into bloody Tex all of a sudden. From 1-0 down within 5 minutes with 3-1 up. I think bloody Fnatic Tex has just, I don't know, possessed me or something. Like, we're dominating this dude. Did you see that? 31% possession. Lovely stuff, man. Wow. I'm going to cut out. If I score any more goals, I'm going to cut them out. We don't want this video to be, be me scoring goals. Um, but if we concede goals, I'll keep them in. Because as we are recording a review on a defender, uh, whenever we concede, I feel like it's important to put it in the video. Of course, I'll continue showing all of the passes uh, made by uh, Thing. Forgot his name already. Lee Bold here. Lee Bold here. You can see he's rapid. We're going to close in. As you can see, Van der Beek's running to my left back position. Um, Le, uh, Le Bold with the pressure putting on, uh, putting my pressure on my opponent. Can't speak right now, which causes my opponent to pass it and do a bad pass. Now Le Bold making that run. We're going to... Okay, we took it out because we're dumb. Good stuff, good stuff. What the hell? Le Bold, there we go. Thank you, that was very scruffy, but Lebold did save us once again. Lebold, there we go. Good pass to Adama. Going to play this pass back to Lebold. A nice simple roulette drag back to Desai E. Desai E, get that pass through. Lovely stuff. Lebold once again. Then over the top to Adama. That's actually a banging ball. Can you keep it in? Oh, man. That, that could have been the fifth goal. Man. Bad on Adama's part, good on Lebold's part, a lovely ball. Good goal on my opponent's part, 4-2. Um, it's not a big threat. We're definitely dominating this match. We're not giving my opponent too much to work from. Just if we concede another, then I'll be worried. But Lebold on it now. Like I'll say it every time he's on it, good agility and balance. What the hell? What? That was an own goal? The game's going against me, man. This is like scripting at its finest. Jesus. Lebold on it, though. Okay, now I'm worried. Like, I've absolutely destroyed my opponent. Yes, I'm not taking him too seriously right now. Which, that I should be concentrating more. But, wow. Alright, now I'm concentrating, of course. Let's go. Let's try to create a play from this. Lebold. The pass does get intercepted. Back to Lebold, though. Adama with the interception. Let's build play from this. Right, we get that through to Lebold, lovely stuff. He's up there, and referee, he's still got it. Jesus, he's still got it, and that's weird, man, that's weird. It's a bad pass, though, and an interception, he wins it back. This dude's interceptions is unreal. 
For the final seconds of this match, we are just going to play it back to uh, LeBold if we can find him back here. Um, and we're just going to test around. Nice passing, then run straight into position. Now we've got LeBold through ball to Adama. See, my opponent's literally given up, and I, I've wasted that. I should have chipped it. Not concentrating whatsoever. But a 5 3 win. Um, my opponent's obviously on edge. He, I can tell he gets frustrated easily as he was bringing his keeper out for no apparent reason when I was winning 4 3. But an 8.6 for LeBold, and when a left back slash a defender gets an 8.6, you know, but incredible. Out of my whole back four, five, including Yashin, he is an 8.6. Tackles one, two out of two. Dribbles completed 16 out of 17 and 26 out of 28 passes completed he is unreal lads he is unreal i'm gonna say it again he's unreal buy this card now literally i'm gonna say his pros and cons i didn't find a con um i, I that's that's good it's off to a great start if you can't find a con his pros his pace his tackling and his interceptions i forgot what his interception stat was his specific interception stat but i can tell you his interceptions stood out the most to me so if i have a look at his interception stat which i'll do on my phone i wouldn't be surprised if it's like in the high 80s or uh low 90s he's literally incredible so out of 10 guys it's literally i mean it's kind of a no-brainer for me I'm going to go ahead and say it's a 10 out of 10. He was insane. So I'm having a look at his interceptions. 88 interceptions. Honestly felt higher. Of course, with a boost I have on him, that probably bumps it up a little bit. Um, so a 10 out of 10. His pros, his pace, his interceptions, his tackling. We did not have to test his uh, strength. But, uh, but another pro I did forget to mention is his agility and balance. His dribbling in general is just phenomenal. So anyways, you guys can probably tell, this is a massive dub. Go buy this card, the only German left back in all of FIFA, or the highest rated German left back in the whole game, and he is insane. Anyways, this has been me. If you did get anything from the video and you do want to help support the channel, you can do so by simply dropping a like and subscribing. Anyways, until next time, lads, I will see you all later. Peace out, guys. Neymar. Mbappe. Payette.